fact that my hair is being coated, as you can see guys, <laughs> this is from a shampoo. This is not even a conditioner. My hair looks deep conditioned right now. Hey, hey. hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Lauren Lee 11. And today I'm just going to be doing something quickly that was suggested by one of my subscribers. Thank you for this suggestion, Sophie M. I'm gonna be doing it today and I hope you enjoy this video, everyone. So basically what it is, Sophie mentioned to me, instead of co-washing, which I did in my last video, I could use a clarifying shampoo that doesn't strip my hair by adding oil. I am using a shampoo, not cheap, but just a shampoo that um, affordable, let's say, <laughs> that I got in my local hair store. It's for curls, as you can see. Now the conditioner to this is amazing, but this shampoo, so disappointed with it. So. Instead of throwing it out, I've been using it bit by bit when I really need to have shampoo. But today I'm following the suggestion of Sophie and I'm going to be adding castor oil, which she mentioned, to my shampoo. Now, as you can see, I haven't got much castor oil in there, so I'm gonna be adding all of it and I've got same amount, well, a bit more shampoo. I'm gonna be adding that in there because to be honest, I don't mind if it's all mixed now because using the shampoo by itself feels like my hair is stripped. Now, I use shampoos that make my hair feel really smooth, almost like a conditioner, easy to detangle. For instance, I'll give you an example, Cream of Nature, the Argan Oil line. But this shampoo, even though it says it's for curls, guys, I'm not even gonna lie, it made my hair feel stripped to the point where uh, it felt squeaky clean. It had that squeaky clean, shiny feeling, but my hair was very, very tangled until I put in the conditioner. Do you know what? I said I was gonna add it in here, but can't get the lid off so what I'm gonna do <laughs> as I said I don't even use this castor oil so I'm gonna just throw the shampoo in there and I'll be using this as my shampoo bottle so I'm gonna pour all of that in there I don't know if you can see that's all going in there guys see that my hair so one thing she mentioned was that the shampoo will still lather but your hair feels silky smooth which is great my thing is with the co-wash if you watched my last video the fact that there was no lather, it wasn't doing it for me. I need it to lather and feel like I'm getting bubbles and you know, I'm cleaning my hair. It's like, for instance, if I was washing the dishes with a non-lathering dish detergent, I don't feel like my dishes are getting washed. It has to lather up and bubble and you know, all that jazz. In there. So I've got a lot of shampoo in there now, if you can see. So that's the oil on top, because it pushed it all up and then there's the shampoo there. I'm gonna give it a good mix. And I'm gonna go and wash my hair with it and review it. Right, so what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna go quickly rinse my hair out, all the product in my hair, rinse it out with lukewarm water, and I'll come back to you with my hair damp when I'm ready to apply the shampoo. Okay, guys, sorry, I had to come back and show you my hair once I took out the hairband. As you can see, my hair is pretty dry, and I will be doing a deep condition, and that will be in my next video, but, um, for the dryness, if I have this type of dryness usually and I use the Cream of Nature shampoo, it really moisturizes my hair. So I'm hoping this is gonna have the same effect, okay? So I'm just showing the dryness of my hair, guys. And when I come back, hopefully if this works, there shouldn't be any tangles and um, just a clean feeling, moisturized and We'll see. Okay guys, so I'm back now. I've rinsed my hair. As you can see, I've got a bit of balling from product residue, only because it's been washed with just water at the minute. And to get rid of this residue, obviously I'm gonna have to use a cleansing agent, i.e. my new shampoo mixture. And um, before I start using this, guys, I would like to say, I have added the amount of oil and shampoo together. I've done one part shampoo, one part oil. I think Sophie was mentioning to do like one third of oil and two thirds of shampoo or something like that. But to be honest, having low porosity hair, it takes a long time for products to absorb into my hair anyway. So seeing as I'm not gonna have the shampoo on my hair for that long, I thought the more oil, the better. Okay, so let's go ahead now. Okay, there's a good start, it's lathering. Okay, so let me just pour it on my scalp. It's nice and runny as well. So the texture already I can say has changed because, hmm, it's kept its smell as well. It's kept the same fragrance, which was like a nice powdery smell. The reason why I'm liking this is because it's kept its lather. That's nice. It's kept the smell, but it feels a lot smoother. So before I couldn't do this in my hair with that shampoo. Okay, so let me just section it and just go all through. So the key, is to make sure that it can detangle. 
just not detangle completely obviously I'll do that in my conditioner and also the fact that it cleanses my hair to the point where it gets rid of that ball in let's see if it passes the test it's very economical on my purse <laughs> I wasn't able to do this with the shampoo before so right now the thing that I can compare it to is the cream of nature shampoo well that does contain argan oil just as you would separate your hair this is the test this is the test I can separate my hair with this shampoo and that's because of the oil so I've still got the squeaky clean feeling that's still there but not the harshness like my hair's being stripped because by now my hair would start to tangle with this shampoo very good okay so let me quickly get on the other side so it's not over yet I've got to rinse it out first and show you if it's done the job and cleaned my hair oh look at this separating all those little knots at the end perfect yeah it's doing the job I wasn't able to do this with the shampoo alone. I should have shown you actually before <laughs> I actually uh, added the oil but right. So I'm gonna wash this out and I'll come back to you. Hey guys, so I'm back and this is my hair with no conditioner in it. This is literally after the shampoo and these are the results. So you can see I've got shine, I've got lots of definition. My hair feels soft and bouncy as you can see. The only thing I would say about this is because it's got oil in there, I wouldn't use it as a cleanser all the time. I'd use it occasionally because obviously I don't want to block the pores of the strands of my hair. As I said, Sophie did suggest to use, you know, a small amount of oil equal to the shampoo, but I used half and half. So obviously there would be my issue with that particular batch. But if I was to do it um, again, I would use less oil and more shampoo and I would most probably use that as my regular shampoo. So there you have it. The fact that my hair is being coated, as you can see guys, <laughs> this is from a shampoo. This is not even a conditioner. My hair looks deep conditioned right now. I recommend this definitely and I will be using it again as I said. But thank you for this recommendation and I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one guys. <laughs>